of the year, scene one. Excuse me? Hello. Cheers. Ah. We're trying to film it with professionals. Please get, get out away. the way. Oi. God. Oh. Anyway, welcome to match of the year. What a goal. Yeah, come on. Beth, what are you talking about? In the back of the net, my son. No, not that sort of match. It's a game of two halves. We're not here about talking about football. Oh, sorry. I won't be needing tea then. No, I suppose not. So, what is it about then? We're here to talk about how to get the best out of our support workers. Oh, like having a good relationship with your support workers? Yes, that's right. Having a good match. I think I get it. Like having the right biscuit to go with a nice cup of tea. Perfect. Like having a good relationship that works well with each other. Like fish and chips. Eggs and bacon. Sausages and mash. Beans on toast. Mm, stop it! You're making me hungry! <sighs> I'm Katie and I employ my own support workers. And I'm Beth and I too employ my own support workers. I have to choose of who to work with me. We are the employers. There was a time when we didn't have a choice of who the supported us. But things have changed. It's better now. This is good, but there is still a lot to learn. So now we are going to look at three other people with learning disabilities who employ their own support workers. This is the first match where Phil and his support worker David are walking back from a nice swim. Well, Phil, Phil's a walk hog one day. Yes, that'll be awesome! Yeah? Well, it's good doing it. I'll be like going down like loads of slides and just yeah, swim to our heart's content. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can, you can, because you're really good at it. You're really, really good at swimming. Really good at it. You know, I could really do for a nice drink after swimming. Hang on. Seriously, Dave, I really could, I really want to buy a drink. Just a minute. Dave, you listen to me. David, jeez. Well, what was all that about? I thought they were really getting on well with each other. Yes, they were really having a nice time. I liked the way David was speaking and listening to Phil. But then it all went wrong. What happened? Let's take a look. It looks like David was more interested in looking at his phone. Yes, he stopped listening. He needs to listen. What do you mean? Well, to have a good relationship, David needs to listen to what Phil is saying. Look at him. He's not taking any notice no, of Phil no. at all. He might as well not be there. He might as well be invisible. Well, that isn't good support. It's horrible when someone doesn't listen to you. That's why Phil was so upset. He needs to talk to David about being left out and ignored. 
and either talk to each other together. I wonder if Phil can bring this up with David. That would be good. Yes, maybe he needs to practice with someone he trusts and then give it a try. Yes, they do. And here is what they talked about after the match. Well, Phil, how was that for you? Well, actually, I tried to talk to my support, David, but he actually wasn't listening to me at all. How was that for you? It made me feel really angry. <clears throat> I tried to talk to him, but he wasn't there. It was as if he was in another world, and quite frankly, it made me very upset and like... Urgh! What did you do then? <sighs> All right. Well, I went home to talk to my sister about what happened. And we, we, we had a bit of a practice on how to help me speak up for myself and say exactly what I felt. Did that help? Oh yeah, result! Well, that sounds like a good result to me. Too right, mate. Well, David, how was that for you? Well, I knew Phil wasn't happy with me, but I didn't know why he wasn't happy with me. Well, how did that make you feel? Not good at all, really. So then what happened? Well, the next day, Phil came and told me why he was upset with me. And? Well, I've sorted it now. I knew I shouldn't have looked at my phone. I should be listening to Phil. Results. Mm, yeah, uh, well, yeah, penny dropped, finally. Yes, that was a good idea that Phil had. Yes, getting help from his sister was a great idea. It looks like David and Phil learnt something. Now let's have a look at our second match. This is Penny. And this is Dan, who Penny employs as her support worker. Here we go, Pen, a nice hot cup of tea and uh, biscuits. Thanks, Dan. I want to ask some friends over for a meal on Saturday. Well, that sounds nice. Can you help me plan it, please? Sure. What are you going to cook? Uh, I think spaghetti bolognese. I've done it before. It's really nice. So, shopping. Do you want to make a shopping list? Uh, well... I've got some of the stuff in the kitchen that we need. Great, I'll go have a look. Yeah. Do we have any tomatoes? I think we saw, I saw them somewhere. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I think we got some tomatoes. Yes, here we are, some nice tomatoes. Do we have any spaghetti? Let me have a quick look. They have to be somewhere around here. Yep, yep, yep. Spaghetti! Do we have any onions? Let me have a quick look. Crazy onions. <laughs> Do we have any garlic? Garlic! To keep the vampires at bay, I must say. I hope it does. Do we have any mincemeat? Let me have a look. Mincemeat, mincemeat. Where are you? Mincemeat, mince, mince, mince. Nope. Nope, there's no mincemeat. Oh. Do you want to take down the list? Good. Okay. Well, this looks good. I like the way they are together, talking and listening to each other. Herbs, duck cubes. So, uh, what about some pudding? Pudding? Oh, I love ice cream and chocolate sauce. That's the best pudding ever. Ah, delicious. Yeah, maybe not. But I just want another biscuit. Well, I, I don't think you need another biscuit. Mm. Oh, come on. We've got some shopping list to do. I can't be bothered. I don't want to know. I don't care. I'm not interested. Okay. Fair enough. What has happened? I looked away for one second and everything went wrong. Penny looked really annoyed. Dan told her not to take another biscuit. What's wrong with that? Didn't she, ha didn't she 
Didn't she talk to him about having a healthy eating thing? Yeah, but it's not for Dan to say. Let's look again. See, it's a bit over the top. Pulling the plate away like that. And here is what they talked about after the match. So Penny, how did that play out for you? I felt quite upset at the end. I don't eat many biscuits and I'm not on a diet anyway. So how did that make you feel? I felt like a child when Dan took the biscuits away. So not very good then? Well, it's my house, it's my biscuits and, and if I choose to want to eat a biscuit I should do so and I don't want Dan telling me what I can and cannot do. Well thank you Penny. Well Dan, what did you think about that? Well me and Penny got on really well doing the shopping in the list but then she got upset. Do you know why? Maybe I told Penny that she better think twice of having a biscuit. Do you think that was okay to say? Well maybe not. Penny never asked me to remind her to eat healthy. I think I have gone a, a little bit too far. Well, thank you, Dan. Back to the studio. I wonder if Penny will say how she feels to Dan. Yeah, I don't think he will be surprised. I think, I think Dan got it at the end. All this talk about biscuits, I could do with a pastry. Good idea. Paul, can you bring me your pastry, please? Thank you. Oh, no, I said pastry, not pasty. You can't get the right support sometimes. Now, let's look at a third match. This is where Rob's support worker, Claire, is helping him in the kitchen. This is Rob. Uh, good morning, Rob. Oh, hi, Claire. Good to see you. Thank you. I haven't seen you since the musical. Thanks again for the tickets, by the way. Ah, uh, you're very welcome. Oh, actually, speaking of the musical, you got a few photos of me uh, when I was dressed up as a Shrek. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I won't be doing that again in a hurry. Um, um, anything you'd like me to do for you? Oh, uh, yeah, if you could unload the dishwasher, that'd be great. Right. You want a cup of tea? Um, yes, I would love one. Now I'm going, I'm going to the lounge. Mm. <sighs> well, here we go again. Two people getting on well, then something goes wrong. It's like Rob was having a hard time talking to Claire. I'm not sure what Claire was doing to upset Rob. Let's have a look. I'm going to the lounge. Mm. Ah, she is putting all the things in the wrong places. Oh, that's why Rob is upset. Anything all right? <sighs> How am I going to deal with this? Well, he, he's, he isn't really all right. 
He needs to talk to her. Yeah, good. Claire noticed that something was wrong. She is picking up on Rob's mood, but she has no idea. Let's have another look. Gotta do something. Gotta say something. Uh, Claire, um, could, can I have a word? Yes! Result! I think I need to have a word myself. <laughs>